Hi there, beloved children of God. Today's Good Friday, and it's the day in the church year that we remember how Jesus died for us to save us. I have two stories today, and they might make you feel a little sad, and that's okay. Just remember, Easter is coming. Okay, let's read. The priests were mad at Jesus, and they wanted to get rid of him. What will happen to us if the people follow Jesus, they grumbled. So they made a plan. Let's take Jesus to the governor, Pontius Pilate. He can get rid of Jesus. When Pontius Pilate saw Jesus, he asked, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus didn't answer. Pilate thought kings ruled over countries and people. Jesus knew that his power was about loving God. Jesus's kingdom was not the same. Pilate was frustrated. Some people wanted to kill Jesus, but Pilate didn't think that Jesus had done anything wrong. Pilate didn't want any trouble, so he handed Jesus over to the people. The priest smiled. Soon Jesus would be gone. Jesus knew that he would die, but that that wouldn't be the end of the story, because Jesus knew God's plan, too. And there's Jesus and Pilate. Hmm. Let's look at the second part. And it's called The Day Jesus Died. There's Jesus with the cross. It was a very sad day when Jesus died. The soldiers who had arrested Jesus teased him for pretending to be a king. They took his clothes and they put a king's purple cloak on him. They made a crown of vines with sharp thorns and they put it on Jesus' head. Ouch. The soldiers made Jesus carry a heavy wooden cross. The cross was too heavy for him. Jesus fell and skinned his knees, and the cross tumbled to the ground. A man in the crowd carried the cross the rest of the way. The soldiers nailed Jesus' hands and feet to the cross. They raised Jesus' cross up on a hill between two other men. The other men were thieves, and they were being crucified too. One of these men was angry with Jesus. If you're a powerful king, can't you save yourself? Why don't you save us too? The man spat at Jesus, but the other thief believed in Jesus. He shouted back, don't you know who this is? This is God's son. He hasn't done anything wrong. We're being punished for our mistakes, but Jesus shouldn't be here. The man turned to Jesus and asked, Will you take me to heaven with you? Jesus looked at the man and loved him. Jesus told him, Yes, today we will be in heaven together. Let's look. See the picture? It's the bottom of the three crosses. Look at everybody at the bottom of the picture. 
Look how sad they are. Hmm. After a while, the world grew very dark as if a terrible thunderstorm was coming. It was as if all of creation was crying because Jesus was about to die. Jesus was feeling all alone and he prayed to see if God was still there. Of course, God never left Jesus. God was with him the whole time. Jesus looked at the crowd he was so sad that people didn't believe he was God's son. He asked God to forgive them for killing him. The soldiers offered him some sour wine, but he didn't want to drink it. He was ready to die. Finally, Jesus had fought for long enough. He said, God, the work you gave me to do here is finished. He breathed a long, slow breath, and then he died. Hmm. It's a windy day today and a stormy kind of day. I imagine that the wind was like this the day that Jesus died. Can you draw a picture of the day that Jesus died? You might be sad when you do that and that's okay. Just remember, we know something the disciples didn't know. We know that Easter is coming. And we'll celebrate Jesus' resurrection then. All right, beloved children of God, we will read the Easter story and celebrate church together online on Easter Sunday. Until then, remember that God loves you so much, and so do we. See you Sunday.